This is a very simple interview. For the record, state your name. My name is Jeff A. Stoltz. My name is Wallace Cochran. I'm the car sauna. And so, how would you explain the new record to folks who were introduced to your last effort, uh, which was uh, pretty much all Lubin Brothers covers? The new record is a uh, uh, an original, uh, a, a collection of original material um, written by us and for us. Um, it's called 2009, and it is uh, about uh, growing old and being an astronaut. There's an accompanying novel called The Moon for Its Citizens, which is also available. Uh, now, what led you to write a book to accomplish, to accompany your uh, your new album? Well, actually, and I hate to correct you, but the, uh, the, the record is actually an accompaniment to the book. Ah! So, what led you to write an album to accompany a book? It seemed appropriate. There were song lyrics in the book, and it seemed, hey, let's put these to music and see what happens. We did, and we were very pleased with the results. Uh, what inspired the novel? Um, the, the book is about the history of rockets from, uh, from ancient times uh, through uh, the present and into the future. And so I would say that uh, the rocket travel from ancient times through uh, the present and into the future was the inspiration. Uh, you mentioned something uh, during your show about Werner von, Ver, Werner von Braun. Uh, care to elaborate on that a little bit more? He was the uh, first uh, man to use the tambourine shoe while doing uh, uh, physics problems. So uh, we, we heard about this and we decided to uh, do some formulas, work on some mathematics, and uh, experiment with uh, alternate uh, percussion devices. We had used a tambourine shoe ourselves previously, but not with the same uh, mathematical precision. So, you guys kind of straddle that line between Americana, playing with bands like uh, the Midday Ramblers tonight, and also uh, sort of the indie rock crowd being on Marriage Records. Uh, what's it like straddling those two worlds? Um, it's, it's fine, as long as you have rocket technology to take you between, between the two worlds. Yes, straddling anything is a lot of fun. Uh, lastly, uh, answer a question you've never been asked. No. Yes. Thank you very much, folks. Thank you.